This is an event that I think you're kind of interested in, right? <laughs> you think? The 100 free. It's always one of the best of either the World Championships or the Olympics. And Jack Alexi coming out in lane eight. It's just amazing that he even made it to the semifinals or the finals or out of the semis to get to this final. There he is. He had a crazy start in the semis last night, Rowdy. I mean, it was, he had to battle himself the whole length of the pool coming back just to get here. You're so right, buddy. I mean, it's unbelievable what he had to go through just to find a lane. And even at the elite, most elite level, you could tell that things happened. There he was right there. He got off to that crooked start, and then his hands came apart. That was the first thing. And then Dan, watch right there. You see that his hands come apart. But look at these guys. You have to have that streamline. That is the single most important word in the entire sport of swimming. He didn't have that, and it cost him half a second. And after all of that, there are some who believe <laughs> strongly that Jack Alexi could end up on the podium Can tonight. That would be a crazy story after that right, bad start. Thing, he's got that New Jersey edge, dude. I mean, <laughs> that Jersey toughness might just come through. Well, he's also got some pretty good competitors uh, yeah. in the pool. He's got the outside smoke lane, though, right? He's in lane A. As Kyle Chalmers, the beast from Australia, comes oh. out. Silver and gold in this event at the Olympics. He's never won an individual world championship title, and he's the favorite in many eyes. But he's next to Matthew Richards, who's the number one qualifier from Great Britain. He took gold in the 200 free as the Brits went 1-2. And then you can't forget about David Popovich up there in lane two. Popovich, the world record holder in this event, was fourth in the 200 free off the podium. That was obviously a disappointment for the 18-year-old, Rowdy, but this is his event. Yeah, it is. But look how skinny this dude is. We watched Chalmers march out. Richard, I, they look like they could just eat this guy for breakfast. <laughs> I mean, he is <laughs> one thin dude. Can you imagine when he gets a little bigger and grows out? He's already the world record holder and might just be the guy to beat in he, this race. He's the rail from Romania. Yeah. He's up there. <laughs> That's a great second. <laughs> just, just came in. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if these guys eat him for breakfast right. in the men's 100 free world championship final. Second from the top will be Popovich. Richards in the middle of the pool in lane four. Chalmers below him in lane five. And Alexi down below in lane eight. What kind of race can he come up with? Well, Chalmers might be dead last at the 50. Dude, watch him in the yellow cap. He does not have a lot of that raw speed in the 100. But he comes home. You might remember back in Tokyo where he almost chased down Caleb Dressel to win that gold medal. Watch the split here. And look at Alexi down in lane eight. Alexi had the lead at the turn. And Chalmers was way back in seventh place. But let's see what kind of finishing speed he has. They are lined up all across the pool with 25 meters left. And there's Alexi to the right. Does he have it now? Alexi's down in lane eight, desperately trying to get on the podium. And it's Chalmers in lane five who's looking good. Alexi is coming to the wall as well. And it is Chalmers who gets the goal. Alexi gets the silver and an unbelievable rebound from last night. Chalmers takes it, but Jack Alexi with a performance of his young career at age 20. Wow. Maxime Grousset got the bronze. Alexi had to fight him off and just barely did so. <laughs> Is that a story? That's a story. Oh my goodness. What a great story. You're looking at the future. Watch that face, y'all. Look at those eyes. That's that Jersey edge that he has, man. He must have been watching The Sopranos at one time or another. And without, and without Caleb Dressel on the scene, we don't know about Caleb's, you know, if yeah. he's going to be in the Olympics right. next year, the sprint star, the two-time world champion, Olympic champion. By the way, Caleb Dressel announced with he and his wife, Megan, that they're expecting their first child today on this day that Alexi comes up big. Yeah, watch the start. Much different. Great reaction time, 0.67. I said that it would cost him a half a second. Well, he went 
seven tenths faster on that one. There he is again. Watch him, guys. Watch him come underwater. Nice dolphin kick. He does not have good turn. He does not have a good underwater. I was talking to one of his coaches, David Marsh, but boy, can he swim. He does not have great turns, meaning he can get over. He's used to swimming those short course yards at Cal, but he doesn't get the distance a lot of swimmers do. And look at this guy on the right. But there's the machine. There's that animal. <laughs> I mean, he did the same thing to Dressel. Ran out of room last year. He didn't run around out of room this year. Boom. Gold for Chalmers, but what a silver for Alexi. And it wasn't just Chalmers eating David Popovich for breakfast. I mean, Popovich, a disappointing sixth place, Roddy, the world record holder. But the king, king of the hunter free at these worlds is Kyle Chalmers. And Jack Alexi with one of the great rebounds we've seen in recent world championship history comes up with the silver just ahead of Francis Maxime Grousset and Kira K. Dixon with the silver medalist. Trip to Worlds and a first individual medal for Jack Alexi. What a race that was, Jack. Just describe how it was from your perspective. Oh, it was awesome. This is what it's all about, coming here and racing against the world's best. So obviously very happy with the time, but also just love having racing against these fastest guys in the world. So it's an honor. Going down that last 50, when you touched the wall, what were the emotions that you felt when you looked up, you saw the time, you were nodding your head, you seemed really, really pleased with what you did? I actually thought I got third at first when I saw the board, but you know, very happy with second place, uh, first world championship. So just excited to see what's happening next 12 months. So We, we have to talk about how you actually got here. You had to fight to get uh, through the semis, to get to a spot in the finals. You had that bit of a challenging start. Can you just describe what happened yesterday in the semis and the journey from there to the silver medal tonight? Yeah, so I was feeling really good going into semifinals last night. On my start, my hands completely fell apart during my streamline. Lost all my momentum the first 15 meters and basically had to catch up the whole race. Um, finished, I was pretty mad, but got lucky enough to squeeze in the A final. Well, happiness tonight. Congratulations. Thank you so much.